is a documentary that I'm putting together for you in the world. And uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of things and a lot of important messages. So, we talk a lot about the dream. Several years back, I had this vision, and the words came in front of me, and it said, the dream of the people. So we're all kind of dreaming together, right? We're all kind of in the same dream, and is the dream the matrix? Or can you, can you describe what the dream is, and then can you also describe what the game is that we're all playing? Okay, everything is a dream, whether you're asleep, or you're awake, no matter where you tune in, which frequencies you tune in, you are living a dream. At the end of the dream, you're back to source. Mm. So we are all having a wonderful dream, or a multi-variety uh, of dreams. And because we are multi-dimensional beings, we have our living multi diverse uh, different dreams simultaneously okay the soul has multi-dimensionality uh, experience uh, things in a multi-dimensional way and so we have different dreams and when we connect with our imagination we connect with other version of our dreams from which we can gather information for this dream everything is a dream and everything is a mirror Can you also describe what the game is? About the game, we agree to uh, dive in a specific dream that has specific uh, rules and just to play, to play a game. And so we decide to play this dream. And then we might say, at a certain point, say, okay, that was a fun uh, dream. You know what? Um, I, feel, I feel like uh, I'm done with this. I learned what I need to learn. Now I want to go in the other court. I see people who are playing some soccer. So what we, I'll see you later. And so now I take off the tennis <laughs> uh, clothing and I put the soccer avatar. And I go in the field. And now we have a different game. There is a different ball. There is a different court. There's many people playing all together. You know, there is a net where the, the ball has to go. So it's, we change dream uh, whenever we feel that we need to move on. And that is why we need to remove and let go of this idea of depth, because there is no depth. If I go from playing tennis to go to play soccer, I'm not dead. I just change the game and I'll see you later. Right? So that is the game, and this game, uh, the Earth game, has its own rules. It's a matrix, so all matrix have rules, have um, agreements. Uh, some agreements are uh, stretchable, flexible. Some are more, are less flexible and, and stretchable. But we individually are the creators, so we can basically not only play the game. We can also change the game. And in fact, a small percentage of the planet, uh, of the soul in the planet, came here to change the game. And those are the people, the soul that are here to position themselves in the bridge between one dream and the other and allow whoever wants to cross the bridge to make the, the passage, to pass through. So, and this, that's a, a, a small percentage of, uh, of the souls that are present in the, in the planet. Speak specifically about if the mirror, well I had asked if the mirror is a physical or a spiritual thing, is it something that's in front of us and we're walking in the mirror at all times or is it something we see in other people? 
Well, okay. First of all, there is no difference between physical and spiritual. And that's another program we have in our mind. I often hear uh, people say, yeah, that's uh, philosophy or that's spirituality, but I want to get uh, more real. Let's go to the concrete things. There's nothing more concrete than being spiritual because we are soul. Okay. Uh, there is not, nothing more practical right now than welcoming our soul at the driver of our seat. If you are a pilot and you are about to land with an airplane, you can do it by yourself. It's a lot of fog, maybe it's rainy, you don't see the, the landing field and you can stay separated and be practical and try to guess how to land or you can connect with tower of control which knows exactly the, it gives you exactly the coordinated for the most amazing landing that is the difference between being practical meaning stay on on your little I'm a pilot and I need to uh, and open up and allow the soul to guide you through the landing. So it's much more practical to connect with Tower of Control. Okay? Because I often hear people associating the idea of spirituality with something abstract, with something that is not reality, it's just philosophies, you know, yeah, but I have to pay my bills. I can tell you that if your soul is guiding you, you will pay those bills with a blink of an eye. If you give credit to the part of you that knows it all, that doesn't think in a linear way, but holistically, then many things that your little mind ego cannot see it because it think linearly will be accessible to you and so it is going to be amazing how many wonderful, incredible solutions will come to you mostly in a joyful package to pay those bills from which your ego feels so concerned about. Okay, So that is about uh, spirituality and, uh, and physicality and reality and create it's all one. There is not compartmentalization. We are our soul having a physical experience. So the physical experience is part of spirituality. It's not mm -hmm. separated. We see in other people. Everything person. that comes to us um, that uh, we experience is an hologram, is a dream and is a response to our, to what we project. Okay? Uh, that is a difficult thing to accept uh, from humanity because in the reptilian program they, they have been, uh, uh, we have been uh, uh, experiencing for so long at the, at, the, at the roots of this program there is the idea of victim and the idea of savior. That is the, the roots of our subconscious uh, reptilian mind. And so uh, we always think that we are victim and there is something outside that is doing that to us. And it's not us. And so now we are looking for a savior. And one day is uh, Donald Trump, another day is uh, Christ. Another day is the Pope, and then is the celebrity, and then is an extraterrestrial. But we are constantly looking for a savior to save us because we feel powerless, insignificant, and we also some of us feel that we don't deserve to be happy to have it all, and we need to sacrifice, and we need to you know to ask for forgiveness, and we need to pay for it, and we are we have all the sins and all we have all these programs in our head. Uh, but that doesn't allow us to really thrive, right? So, um, the mirror is just a mirror. Uh, it's, it's an hologram. 
there is no physical mirror. It's just an hologram. It's just a reflection of whatever whatever you put your focus, uh, you will have a mirror. Of course, we also have to respond to uh, the rules of the matrix that we are in, uh, but as an effect on the mirror, and also we have to deal with uh, the mirror that is projected by the collective, right? So uh, there is a, um, uh, a different aspect of this mirror, but fundamentally it's all depending from us, it depends on how we respond to the mirror, uh, how I, our experience uh, is, uh, what kind of experience we have, it depends on how we respond to the mirror. Um, I see particularly right now a lot of people are fighting the mirror, uh, are trying to change the mirror, are negotiating with the mirror, are creating um, all kind of ways to um, deal with the mirror as if it was real, but the mirror again is just a mirror. Uh, there is value to do all these things. It's, they are very important because they create an experience. They create, uh, uh, they put in emotion, in emotion, a lot of uh, energy, and so it's very important to do so. But we just need to remember that everything is a mirror, and we are the creator. And everything that the mirror mirror back to us is through us. So we are consenting. We are giving power to whatever reality is in front of us through our vibrational offer. Uh, as I heard many times from other sources, this is uh, a beautiful example. If you want the mirror to smile, uh, you cannot talk to the mirror and try to convince him to smile. Please smile. Oh, you need to smile. I am angry at you. Why don't you smile? Let's fight so we make the mirror smile. It won't work. It's just a mirror. If you want the mirror to smile, you have to smile. Okay, so that is the level of consciousness we need to gain right now, to take fully responsibility for what the mirror is showing us, because it's us. The mirror is a beautiful gift because it shows us what we want, what we are, so we can make a choice. Do we want to continue to be like that or we want to change it, you know? Even the, the darkness that we are experiencing right now, massively, it's not that it wasn't there before, just before it was more occulted, now it's coming to surfaces because so we, we can see it. So the mirror is showing us all these shadows, but they are just our shadows. So rather to fight the shadow of the mirror, we need to go inside ourselves and work in our shadows and then the mirror will change both individually and collectively. Now we are in an interesting situation uh, because we have been giving so much power to the, to the mirror. We have been feeding the mirror with so much energy, with life energy, because we are very powerful, but the, the mirror now is creating its own life and it wants to control us, right? And so this is a moment uh, where we need to uh, become aware of who we really are, it's very important, and become aware that this game that we are living in this moment is just a dream, it's just a game and shouldn't define us for what we are, because we are much beyond the game. So I know we're in a hologram and it's, uh, to me, it's like a glowing light with different um, projections. And so, can you explain what the hologram is in your words that we are all in? Well, the hologram or the matrix, as you want to call, is just a, a dream where there are, um, which is uh, created by souls like us. Um, where there are some rules and regulations and um, through which 
the soul can have an experience. So there is a curriculum, right? Me and you, as souls, we fall in love with Mother Earth. We were looking through the infinite possibilities in front of us for our next adventure. And uh, we fall in love with this little tiny matrix called blue, uh, called uh, Mother Earth. This blue-green pulsating light. And we first were curious about it, then as we look deeper into it, we started to get fascinated by the diversity of possibilities that this uh, 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 university offer to the soul. And one of them is uh, a dif uh, different from other uh, universities. These really give the ability to the soul to express his, his uniqueness. Uh, the Mother Earth, the Earth, give to the soul the ability to be really, to express his unique uh, expression, to express his uniqueness in terms of creativity. Other operating systems do not offer this possibility. They are more like communities that more or less kind of walk the path all together simultaneously. Uh, in this, uh, in this uh, transformational center called Mother Earth, it, this is an experiment in diversity and is an experiment in uniqueness. And that's for the soul, it's fascinating and it's exciting because you get really to play, you get to an opportunity to really play like maybe no other places in the multi-universe uh, range of possibilities. We talk about remembering and why is it so important to remember and what are we trying to remember? Well, the process of remembering is important when uh, uh, we are completed with a specific experience and we want to uh, move on and so we, we start to remember more and more who we are. In this specific case, at this particular at this time, in this specific dream, in this earthy experience, uh, particular at this time, is important to remember who we are because for about 10,000 years we've been completely lost into this other dream that is uh, for the most sponsored by an, an artificial intelligence and uh, supported by the ego uh, and we've been for so long uh, playing this game that we lost completely our ability to discern to the point that now we think that we are the ego and because now we are preparing to uh, at the end of the cycle we are preparing to uh, a transition to back to the original blueprint of what is the earth experience now it's, it's important to start to remember who we are uh, because if we don't, it's like the caterpillar that keeps staying in the cocoon uh, but the cocoon is kind of shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and so we need to get out and, and remember that we are really butterflies or we can stay in the cocoon and continue the experience of the, of the low frequencies and some soul decide to do that and there's nothing wrong with that but right now we are a split and so for those that desire, that have the intuitive desire to become the butterfly, of course it's important that they start to um, remember who we are because we've been watching a movie for such a long time and to the point where we, we believe that we are the movie. And now there is like a light that is turning on very rapidly and we are starting to realize that we are in a theater and we are watching a movie. And very soon we will hear a voice that says, ladies and gentlemen, the show is over, it's time to move towards the exit, right? Uh, and so we need to, uh, and that's the moment that we will have to uh, start to, uh, how can I say, to um, 
not to deny anymore that, that there is only this movie and there is nothing else. We need to start to embrace the possibility that we are much, much, much more than this movie that we've been watching for 10,000 years.